remember, Connor, we're here to get investment ideas, not to shop. But look at all the companies. There's so many. I don't know which one to invest in. Which one do you want to invest in, Ella? I think I want to buy one of these buildings. I bet I can earn a lot from that. Sounds good. But I love the Disney Channel, so I'm thinking I'm going to invest in Disney. I want to buy a GoPro. I love those cameras when I'm skateboarding. What about Apple, Connor? Maybe I could do both. But how do we invest? Let's go back and talk to Carol again to learn how to do okay, it. Okay, but I just want to take a detour. No way! It's better to buy a GoPro stock than another camera. How do you know that? I've been listening to Carol Pepper on CNBC. Come on! Hi, my name is Carol Pepper. I'm the CEO of Pepper International, and welcome to Lesson 2 of Investing 101. And in Lesson 2 today, we're going to cover how do you invest? Well, let's start with what are my choices? There's so many ways to invest your money. You can see from this chart that you can invest in low risk investments to higher risk investments. And you can invest in publicly traded investments or private market investments. And today we're gonna to go through some of the options that you might like to consider. Now, let's start about the difference between public market and private market. Public investments mean investments that are traded on a stock exchange or some other kind of exchange. You may have heard of the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, the FTSE in Europe. These are exchanges that trade securities publicly. The pros of publicly traded securities, whether they're stocks or bonds or real estate funds, are that there's a known price, it's pretty easy to trade. You can do it on your computer or through a broker. The investments tend to be very liquid and there is good financial regulation over the publicly traded markets. The cons are that the prices move a lot. For example, um, there could be a bad weather storm somewhere in the United States and the entire stock market will go down even though the weather storm doesn't really affect the price of a particular security. So you have less control because there are many factors that affect the public markets that have nothing to do with the investments themselves. Now private markets mean investments that you buy that are not traded on a public exchange. So they're not affected by the movements of the markets. Sometimes you get better financial returns in the long run from private markets. But on the negative side, they're hard to sell, there's almost no financial regulation, and sometimes you must be a qualified investor to invest in these securities. Now, who regulates the public markets? Well, the government tries to make sure that there are no horrible scams and that investors don't lose their money in a complete fraud, although occasionally it does still happen. The main regulator of the public markets is the Securities and Exchange Commission. The website is sec.gov, and there you can learn all about how financial institutions are regulated. Firms who sell securities are also regulated to make sure they give accurate information to investors. Another regulator is FINRA, a nonprofit organization authorized by the Congress. Now, what do we mean when we say a qualified investor? Well, the government has a rule that you must have quite a bit of money in order to make certain kinds of private investments called private placements. Why do they do this? They want to make sure that you are a sophisticated investor and that if these risky investments go bad, you can afford to take the loss. So a qualified investor must have an annual income of $200,000 a year or more for the last two years or a net worth over a million dollars to invest in a private placement. So we are gonna focus in this course on investments that are open to everyone and that you don't need to be a qualified investor to invest in them. Well, if I wanna start looking up information on potential investments, where do I start? Well, my favorite tool actually is on the internet and it's Yahoo Finance. You can find it here. If you click on the Finance tab of Yahoo Finance, you will see a wealth of information about the markets and particular securities. You'll see a little box that says, quote, and if you put the ticker or the short name of the company in that box, you'll get all sorts of information on how that company performs, who owns it, uh, the latest news about the company, etc. So I highly recommend Yahoo Finance. There's also a fantastic feature in there called Watch Lists. And if you click on the Watch List tab, you can see the stocks that Warren Buffett invests in, for example, or the best tech stocks, or the highest performing stocks for the day, etc. So there's a huge amount of information to explore in this free online service. If you like, you can also, in some cases, link your actual account to Yahoo Finance and actually trade your securities right from the Yahoo Finance website. 